Now in this session, we look at the offset issue with the proportional and the controller. So we take the example of this tank process where the objective is to maintain the level of liquid in the tank. So the output is a level of liquid and the output is maintained by manipulating the inlet flow to the tank. Now initially, the output, the input are at the desired value. And when there is a change in the set point, meaning the desired value for the output is changed to a new value. So the output will start to change simply because there will be a large error initially between the set point and the output and the controller will start to take some action. So the initial response of the controller due to its proportional action will be high and then as the input start to as the output start to change the error will be low so the input will also start to decrease. Now with the level going up the outlet flow from the tank that will also start to go up okay and as the level as the inlet flow decreases and the out the level increases the outlet flow will also keep on increasing and what will happen at some point the inlet flow to the tank will be equal to the outlet flow and at that point the level will be become constant now the objective of the controller is to make the error to be zero however the proportional control because the control action is equal to kc times the error when the error become constant the control action also become constant so the here at some point the error becomes constant the control action does not change any further so the proportional control really cannot make the error to be zero now let's see from the analysis using the block diagram so you see for this case if you want to find the relation between this ys and rs meaning the output and the set point the transfer function will be the all the transfer function between y and r on the numerator meaning gp gc the denominator will have one plus all the transfer function within the loop okay now if you plug in these values we'll have k over tau s plus one times kc and one plus k over tau s plus one times kc now if you simplify this you will end up getting kkc over tau s plus 1 plus kkc okay now the closed loop transfer function becomes if we further standardize it will be kkc over 1 plus kkc or tau plus kkc s plus 1 so you see the gain of this closed loop transfer function is kkc over 1 plus kkc okay now for the response to be in the proper direction this kkc is always greater than 0 and if these are bounded it's less than infinity so for this sense you see that this gain kkc over 1 plus kkc so gain we can write it 1 over 1 over k k c plus 1 which is always less than 1 okay only in the limit that k c goes to infinity this gain will be 1 okay so any value of the controller gain less than infinity the gain will be less than 1 meaning that if there is a change in the set point the output will not be at the set point at the some other value if there is a say set point change of 10 unit the output will be something less than 10 because the gain is less than 1. so that's through this block diagram analysis you can show that that for proportional only controller there will always an offset the offset that is defined as the relation the offset is defined as the set point minus the output at the steady state value now for this case you can see as kc goes up 
the strum will be smaller and smaller and if that's the case the width kc goes up the offset will be less meaning that the kc goes up the gain goes close to one and when kc becomes infinity it becomes one but any finite value when kc goes up the gain will go close to the value one so in that case with the higher kc the offset will be decreasing 